Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello, uh, welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today I'm here with Ireland under under 18 and under 19 international, as well as Sheffield United. Under 18s, is it? Under 18s, 23s, yeah. Okay. Um, first of all, I just want to ask you, uh, how how did you, how did your career start from the early days to where you are now, and how are you finding it? Well, I first got into football, joined um, Balscadden FC, just played there for about a year and a half, two two years. Went up, to, got scouted, went up to home farm, went on trial there. So the boys up there, nice handy. Yeah, yeah, good club that. Um, signed with home farm, played at home farm for eight years, then. Really, it all started from there. Kicked on from there. Went on trials and that, and then. Okay, was was the coaching there just so much like, I would say better than where you were originally? But was the standard a lot higher? Yeah, it was much higher. Obviously, the DDSL, and it was just we were playing against better teams and I was playing with better players. So yeah, it was like a much higher standard than what I was previously playing at. Uh, did you did you ever feel like at uh, the points that you were? better than the players you were playing around yeah I got to the stage where I was kind of I just I knew myself without, without being big yeah, headed I knew, I knew myself like within myself I felt that I was like I was I was like destined to go on to better things than what, what was surrounding me and that so yeah, yeah. and how did, how did the move to Sheffield United come about um, it and came did, about did you, did, um, what, what influenced the move were, were other clubs looking at you or was it yeah well I was obviously I was just playing for home farm performing every week is playing well and that and then eventually we were playing in Whitehall and after the game uh, the, uh, the f director of a home farm called me into the office and there was a Sheffield United scout sitting there so Sheffield United was the first club what I went on trial with and he said to me he spoke to me brought me in spoke to me said that he wanted me to go uh, go on trial go to the Milk Cup and that so we spoke he told me what the dates and that and then that eventually I went over there as my first trial Hey, you went out and played for them in the yeah, Milk yeah. Cup, did you? Played, went over for a week and then played in the Milk Cup. How was that? Yeah, it was brilliant, yeah. I loved the Milk Cup, it was really good. All right, and did um, when you were saying about Sheffield United were the first club, were other clubs trying to kind of tempt you away? Yeah, I went. I went. I was at Sheffield Wednesday as well. Quite enjoyed that when I was there. And then there was any, a lot. Any bitter feelings between them two? Uh, at the time, there was a bit of a scuffle there. But, but um, yeah, there was a, quite a few clubs interested, but... Uh, at Sheffield United, my my mum and dad came with me. They really enjoyed. It. I really enjoyed, it and felt that that was the place that I could kick on and really do well. So. And with the club, with the club involved with your parents, as much as yourself, like to come and speak to your parents. Yeah, yeah. Help. They brought my parents over and I put them up in the hotel. Should like treat them brilliantly, like so. They really enjoyed. That. I really enjoyed it. And then, obviously, the club was brilliant, like football was and that. And so. That's All right. Sure, so. And how have you been getting on this season now? Yeah. Doing really well. We've got we've got quite a young squad in the twenty threes league, and we're second, so we're doing really well. Like we're giving away two, three years every game on average, so we're doing really well. And with the eighteens, we've still got quite a young team. Like we play we play sixteens at times, but still doing really well. Like in the league, so it's been. I see you scored an L duo there recently. Yeah, the youth cup. Yeah. Oh, there were nice goals in fairness. I'll give you that. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, what what are you, what what are your ambitions now? Kicking on into the new year, like with Ireland, uh, the the youth teams, and then obviously with Sheffield United. You know, what is it, have you any goals set for now, two thousand eighteen? Yeah, well, with with the Irish squad, I, I'd like to cement my place again in the under nineteen squad. Obviously, we've got the we've got some friendlies. I think they're in February, and then we've got quali like the elite phase qualifiers for the Euros, and then hopefully the final. So, my, my international goal for twenty eighteen is to get into that squad and be a key player in that squad and then with Sheffield my goal would be to uh, hopefully by the end of the season being in around the first team on the bench maybe depends on depending on how they do maybe an appearance have, have you have you had any training with the first like in like mixing in with the first yeah, team would, they, would at, they get you involved at Sheffield United yeah it's we're like one big one big squad like it's always we're always they always have us up involved everything it's not just like first team 23s, 18s, it's everyone, everyone's involved with each other and they take like great interest in us, so it's really good. And uh, is there anyone there who's kind of taking you under a wing? I know Ender Stevens is there. Yeah, a lot, like, to be fair, a lot of them, like, everyone's kind of approachable, everyone's, you know, you see people that speak to you and it's not, like, everyone, 
everyone is approachable, so it's it's good in that way. Yeah, but it'll be, it'll be interesting to see now if he can kick on in 2018 and maybe get into the Ireland squad. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. had a very good season. Yeah, he's doing really just well. Just helps. Really well. And um, just, who, did, did you, when you were growing up, did you ever base your style of play on anybody? Um, as much as it kills me to say, as a United fan, I used to love watching Steven Gerrard. I'm an Everton fan, so I can sympathise <laughs> with you on that one, yeah. Yeah, I used to love watching Steven Gerrard. I just think... He's, he's so complete. He's got everything that I'd want to have. Okay, and you bring that boy into into your game then. Yeah. And I've seen I've seen some of your strikes. Now you're not doing bad in terms of uh, the old, the old strikes. Mm. <laughs> so, if you had any advice to give like to anyone, any young kids watching or who have any ambitions to kind of follow in your footsteps, would you would you have any words of uh, advice for them? Yeah. Well, obviously the main thing you need to do is work hard, but then again you need to sacrifice a lot of things. Because like things like going going out with your mates and that rather than going to train and you just can't do it if you if you really want to have a career in the game, it's like it's the sacrifices that you make now that will hopefully bring a better future on. And did you always think like that, or did you did your parents bring that uh, instill that in you? Yeah, my my parents all like helped me out a lot. They obviously like raising me in that they kind of they kind of gave me the mentality that I've, I've got today. So. Like, just the main thing for me, I just look and see the end goal, that's all. And I, no matter what, I want to get there. So, that's kind of... And it helps, what so, so if they were like, uh, one of your mates, like, ah, come on, we'll go, we'll go have a few points, or have a few cans, or whatever. You, yeah, but... Your parents would be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they, my parents would kind of yep. say to me, come on, you know what you want to do, and that's not going to help. So a lot, of, a lot of mates like appreciative of the fact that if you didn't go, out, yeah, they'd, yeah, they'd be okay with it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, they're kind of used to it now from all the times I've said now. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, there was one one other thing I was going to ask you then. Um, when, like, you're doing you're doing really well now at the moment. If you're, if you can get into the first team or in and around it, do do you see now in the next kind of couple of years maybe? The possibility of you getting into an Ireland squad, yeah. Well, or do you feel like as I, I know in a way with Man he doesn't really give that young player a chance in the squad too yet because they'd be very inexperienced. But in terms of, do you feel like maybe in the next two years he could maybe push into the squad? Yeah, well, he's, he's, that, he's brought players in. in with the likes of Callum O'Dowd. He's young and he's good, he's had great opportunities, like playing some big games and that. So why not? If it's like the opportunities are there. It's just up to me whether I take them or not. All right. Well, um, that's that's fantastic. Uh, thanks very much for coming in. Uh, it was brilliant having you. Um, guys, uh, keep an eye out for Jordan. Give him a follow on Instagram, Twitter, the whole shebang. We'll leave all the links in the bio. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Join your subscribe range. I am. Yeah, so there, you, there we go. Uh, keep an eye out for Jordan now in 2018. Thank you very much for watching Irish Football Fan TV.